Hi, everybody. Well, that was disappointing. I took out my other iPod and opened iMovie and created a vlog using that just to experiment. Would iMovie work with... Would it sound any better than these ones sound... This one sounds great now, but that's because I've got this headset in it. Um, again, in case you're in case you're just watching this, in case this is the first video that you're ever watching from me, I have been on an ongoing kind of quest to find the perfect YouTubing device slash camera slash you know whatever. Um, I thought that. My, oh man, let's see. First of all, I started by using my stock video camera app. And that was a pain in the neck because every time something would come up and the video would stop for some reason, I would have to abruptly end it because, you know, you can't go back and you can't manipulate your your video um, done on the stock video camera app at all. You just can upload it, and that's pretty much all you can do. You can either upload it or you cannot upload it. Well, I had been using that for so long, and finally I was like, well... I, well, what happened was, I was using that for so long, and I was hoping that one day I would learn how to use iMovie to um, splice like two or three videos into one video. Now, mind you, it is still true that for whatever reason, I'm only allowed to have a 15-minute long video on i or on YouTube. Why that is, I don't know, because I have seen, I mean, some of my favorite YouTubers are having 16, 20, 45 hour-long videos. Um, and yet, I'm only allowed to have a 15-minute video. Is that fair? No, but life's not fair. Anyway, um, I'm still only able to have a 15-minute video on my channel, but having some control over the videos is nice. So, oh, what I was saying was, I was, I still can only have 15 minutes worth of video, but I was uploading like a two minute video, and a six minute video, and a four minute video, and it was part one, part two, part three. I would have liked to do part one, a six-minute video, part two, a two-minute video, part three, a four-minute video, to have it all as one big ten-minute video. And my thinking was that I could use iMovie to do that, and, you know, if you have vision, or if you understand iMovie better than my teacher, who hasn't had a lot of experience with iMovie either, and I can, maybe you can, in fact, do that. But, again, in case you're not familiar with me, I'm totally blind, and I am using my iDevices, iPod, iPhone. Um, iPod or iPhone, that's really all I have. I've got, I've got like, a, a, cu a couple iPods, and technically a couple of iPods, Phones, even though as of now one of my iPhones is as good as nothing. It's a router for my Apple Watch. It is not an iPhone. Technically it is, but I just did a video, my last video right before this one as a matter of fact, was just a rant about how sick I am of that iPhone 6. It has not, it, 
Ever since shortly after I bought it, it started misbehaving, and it has never stopped. I have been to the local kind of sort of Apple store multiple tri- times trying to get it to work right. It just never has, and now it's about getting it back up and running so it's at least alive enough to be the U- to, to be the um, the Bluetooth connection to my Apple Watch. That's its only purpose anymore. Um, but anyway, my iPod and my iPhone are the devices that I use YouTube on, that I do YouTube with. YouTube, iMovie, whatever. I mean, those are the devices that I use. And I was hoping to get videos spliced together in iMovie, is what I was saying before I got off on that. I, my teacher and I could not figure out how to make that happen. But what we were able to figure out is that I can start a recording using iMovie and turn it off and then start another video and it will plot the second video right on the end of the first one, or, like, right, literally right on the end of the first one, which is pretty darn cool. That beats the hell out of, of having, like I said, two videos, two separate videos, when I just as easily could have had one longer video. Now, sometimes I will turn iMovie on and off and put multiple um, clips on a project, and it will be, it'll go clip one, clip five, clip two, clip three, clip four, clip six, clip eight, or clip seven, clip eight. I don't know why it does that. (laughs) Um from time to time, but it does, and that, I don't like that, I, I know what probably happens, the playhead, as they call it, which is the, basically the cursor, if you're looking at it in computer terms, the, the place where the video is being dropped, for some reason has been moved from the end of the video to somewhere in the middle of the video. I don't know how that accidentally happens, and I don't know how to check it to make sure, okay, is it at the end? Okay, good. So, I don't know how to make sure that that never happens again, but I'm glad when it doesn't, because that makes for good, um, good uh, vlogs. And, you know, maybe somewhere in iMovie for the cited or the iMovie experienced, there's a way to cut that clip four out and put it at the end of clip three instead of right at the end of clip one. I still, I don't know how to do that. Um, And I don't know how to learn because honestly, the guy that taught me doesn't know much about it either. Um, We kind of learned together how to do that. Um how to use iMovie as my video camera, basically. Um, So, you know, iMovie, I first heard about iMovie, I heard it was going to be this video editor. And um, it is a video editor, I'm sure, but for my purposes or for my, not even for my purposes, for my abilities, I don't know how to make it a movie editor. I know, I don't, I know how to use it as a video camera that gives me a little bit of control. I don't know how to use it as a video editor. And like I said, I don't know how to learn. I hope I'm not right on the microphone. Man. Um, oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm not because the microphone is right here. Unfortunately, the, okay, so I've been on this ongoing quest to find out 
what the right um what the right camera is or right the what the right device is i started okay obviously the right app is iMovie and then you export those movies and then you uh put them on YouTube well Unfortunately, the iPhone is the better microphone out of all of them, apparently, because, okay, so I was using the iPhone, then I got an iPod, because, oh, that's right, what happened with the iPhone was, the iPhone was, the iPhone, you know, your run-of-the-mill iPhone, you download apps, you download music, you download all kinds of stuff. Then you start making videos. You come up with this dialog box, basically, that says, you're running out of room on your phone. <laughs> Hold on a minute, let me see. Speaking of running out of room, let me make sure we're not running out of room on this video. Yeah, I did the right thing. We actually are running a little low on time for this video. We are at 11 minutes and something seconds, and I know how I rattle on. Um, 11 minutes and something seconds. It's probably turning into 12 right now. I will babble away three minutes like that. So I think I'm going to have to make a part two out of this. Um, but the note I was ending on was the problem with using your I phone for your YouTube device, or at least this is what I've found. Um, maybe, probably, a lot of people find ways to deal with this, and that's fine, but personally, I came to the realization that when you have too much going on on your phone, you know, YouTube videos and everything else in life, you run out of room on your phone. You run out of room to make videos. And I personally got to the point where I was like, okay, I want a device that's really primarily for YouTube and stuff like that, as opposed to my phone being for everything. I mean, my phone can be for a little bit of everything, but I should really have just a YouTubing device. And on that note, I'm going to say stay tuned for part two.